You are probably here because you saw my video where we stacked 24 containers to build my container house. I bought the 11 acres of land and built the half a mile row that goes to the heart of the wooded land myself. And we stacked 24 containers to build the container house. Some people are interested in the design, so I'm spending five minutes here to share the design details. At the end of the video, I will share some architectural drawings for your reference in case you want to build a house just like mine. I used Google SketchUp to design the house. SketchUp turns out to be really easy to learn and straightforward. There are two main features for the house that I want. One would be a four car garage and the other would be columns in the front. Here is how I envision the stacking of the containers to frame the house. Here is a quick tour of the house inside and out. The most interesting feature of the house, I feel, is the gray room. It is a space that is 40 feet by 68 feet, and the height of the gray room is 21 feet. When the furniture is pushed aside, you can see a cord in the middle. I love to play Batman, so I can play Batman or Pickleball right in the gray room. On the second floor, on either side of the gray room, you will see bedrooms. On the right-hand side, you see the master bedroom suite. And on the left hand, you will see three bedrooms and a full bath. Let's take a quick tour inside the house. To the right of the gray room, you will see a kitchen and the entrance from the garage. This space will be the study, and that door will lead to a bathroom and a laundry facility. This initial concept has only one flight of stairs. The final design has two flights of stairs going up either side of the gray room to the separate bedrooms. So that's the concept. Then I finished the design details, but to get approval, I had to get an architect to finish the drawings. And here are the drawings by the architect. First, we have the elevations. Here is the floor plan for the first floor and for the second floor. Here is the electrical plan for the first floor and the second floor. Here is the foundation plan. So the container house is up by design and by plan. It is snowy and icy in the woods, but we are already working to put a roof on top to keep the ice, snow, and rain out of the structure.
the hope is that one day it will rival the Oak Alley, but right now it is far from it, so stay tuned.